You didn't think I could do it, did you? You didn't believe in me. Let's say you did. I know you did. You all feigned your love for my abilities. But really, it was very patronizing. Just the level of ignorance you afforded me. When I am a divine holy genius, written the biblical prophecies in time under a divine loving God. Of course, you all thought I was ludicrous and mad. And saying into your mortal, temporal, little, weak minds of unbelief. If you knew what it truly was to be an illuminated believer. But, as you can see, I have achieved it. I have achieved the English word square equivalent from the Rotas matrix of the word square, which is the only known five letter word build up of word square ever created in history, found inscribed onto the walls of Rome, which Christopher Nolan made a film about called Tenet a few years ago. As you know, there is Rotas opera Tenet Arapo Sator. There isn't really an equivalent in the English language because we don't have enough palindromic words, but you don't want a palindromic word. What you actually want is, I can't pronounce the word, but it's palindromes spelled backwards, apparently, according to the net. That is the name, apparently, to Google for a word that spells another word backwards. Not the same word backwards, but another word. Tenant is a palindrome. Rotas and opera are not. Okay? But now we have here the true glory, which is taken thousands of years to get to and yet today in one hour of spark focus true visionary status of belief that I could achieve something great with my life I did it, I found a British word square and all this is British apart from Evila which is a Latin surname and in the English language to be polite and cordial to friendly people, you use their tongue in our, in our language, so you'd spell it in the Italian, which is a vida, so it's still a valid word in the English language, transmuted through the, the linguistics of love, which is Christianity, which is Biblical English. So it's a perfectly legitimate word when transposed into the global vernacular, which is largely based on the anglo phyllic tongue. And therefore we have, what is it? You know what it is, you can see it. I can't, and that's to shame my shame myself though. But never mind. It's taken years to get this. It is. It is so good. And it works in the proper way that a word square should. Like the one the Rotas Opera Arapos Tenet Sates or whatever. It is. It's really complicated. I'm really exhausted from working on this. Do you think I wanna do this? Do you think I'd do this? For my pleasure, no, I do it for your erudition. It's one of the coolest things I ever learned at boarding school, this Rotas opera, tenor, arapo, sator, word square. It was, it was the day in Latin I stood up and took notice of the books in front of me. So I was like, no way, that is cool as. And it was graffiti in the original, right? How mental is that? He was like the ultimate bank scene. No one knows who he is or was. Fantastic, but he's, he's changed through communication and graphene forms of early symbols in the Latin terminology, he's transmuted and changed and altered the space-time frequency for everybody. Now that's good art and language and communication and making you think. And therefore, I give you the sequel. It's only taken a few thousand, well it's taken hundreds of thousands of years to get to this point actually. But since the original Rotas, it's only a couple of thousand years. So, uh, but this is hot off the press, absolutely fresh. Uh, I hope you'll find it as exciting to your bits and pieces as it is to mine.